So you've got a tournament coming up in a few days. What should you really focus on in your training? A few days out from your competition, it's important to get really specific about your match day situations. Think about the serve, think about the return of serve, think about your first attack, and think about tactically what you're going to be trying to do on match day. So remember, on match day, half of the points that you play, you'll start with a serve. Half of the points you play, you'll start with a return of serve. So those two elements are absolutely critical to focus on before you play your competition. How can you practice your serve? I wouldn't start to think about just inventing a new serve. I wouldn't start to even think about getting a box of balls and just serving and serving and serving and serving. Start to think about your service, but putting it into a rally situation. Think about what you're gonna do with your serve, the positioning, the spin, the, the depth, and also then think about what you're gonna do on the next ball after the serve. So putting that little package together will help you on match day because that, as we said, is gonna happen on 50% of all the points that you play. And now let's focus on the return of serve. That's the other 50% of the points that you play. Think about what you're going to do on the return of serve. Think about your strengths and your weaknesses here. So if there's a serve that you don't like, maybe you could practice that a bit. If there's a serve that you do like and you've got some plays that you work with on that return of serve, practice those. But similar to the service points, we need to think about what happens next. So if I'm going to return, what do I do next? I'm going to be looking for an attacking ball. I'm going to try and get out there and play that. So always think about the ball that you're playing and the next ball. So our training package in those last few days looks like we're going to practice our service and follow-up ball. And we're going to practice our return of serve and our follow-up ball. So in that training session, focus on those couple of balls. You don't necessarily need to play a full game, but set up a few situations for yourself and deliberately set them up with your training partner. So it might be that difficult serve that you want to work on. Get them to serve that serve a lot and work on that and the follow-up ball. Similarly, with your service, think about the serves that you want to practice and what you're going to do on that follow-up ball. If your training partner at the other end is good at returning your good serves, that's fine. In fact, that's actually better. So we're not always looking at trying to make it difficult for our opponent during this training session. We're looking at what we're trying to focus on and what we're trying to practice and get better at for tournament day. So in those last few days, what do we focus on in regards to our strengths and our weaknesses? I always feel like in those last few days, it's hard to patch up those cracks and make it all better. So I think you're better off having a bigger focus on your strengths. You can practice your weaknesses a bit, practice just getting a bit more comfortable with that. But if you practice your strengths, you'll go into the tournament understanding how you want to win points and also uh, practice those ways that you're going to win points during your tournament. So when you've got a bit more time, that's the time to practice your weaknesses. You know, a month before a tournament or in your off season, that's when you really put in the, the hard yards and practice those weaknesses and start to patch up those cracks in your game. Good luck for your tournament and let's see how much your skills you can transfer onto tournament day.